Defense Department is opening a, opening a civil investigation into the Louisville Jefferson County Metro Government and the Louisville Metro Police Department to determine whether LMPD engages in a pattern or practice of violations of the Constitution or federal law. The United States Attorney General has opened a federal investigation into the Louisville Metro Police Department. AG Merrick Garland announced today they will look into patterns and practices of unlawful and unconstitutional policing. The investigation will include a comprehensive review of the Louisville Police Department's policies and training. It will also assess the effectiveness of LMPD's supervision of officers and systems of accountability. As in every Justice Department investigation, we will follow the facts and the law wherever they lead. Unreasonable force, discriminatory practices based on race, and unconstitutional search warrants at private homes. Just a few examples of some of the practices the Department of Justice will be looking for. The investigation will be led by the Civil Rights Division. Not only will they look into use of force, but the systems that are supposed to hold police accountable. If there is any reasonable cause to believe violations have occurred, the DOJ will issue a public report. From there, the DOJ will work with our city and LMPD to correct and prevent these practices. City leaders were briefed on the investigation earlier today, and tonight they tell us they welcome the probe. So let's get right to Dennis Ting, who was listening in as the chief and the mayor reacted to the announcement. Dennis, what did you hear? Well, that's right, Shay. While some would look at an investigation into the department as a cause for concern, Metro and police leaders say they see it as an opportunity to create change within the department. Louisville Metro leaders say they met with representatives from the Department of Justice this morning. Where that's when they learned about the investigation into LMPD. Police Chief Erica Shield says she was not entirely surprised by this announcement. She says while the investigation findings by Hillard Heinz released earlier this year helped expose several issues within the department, the investigation will bring in more resources and can help set guide, guidance for police departments around the country. If us at Louisville LMPD are going to be one of the flagship departments for change, then bring it on. We're going to deliver. When asked about the possibility of LMPD entering into a consent decree with the DOJ, which could lead to independent oversight, Shield says she hopes it doesn't get to that point, citing the cost of the department. But she says it is working in Baltimore, saying the police commissioner there has touted that as a way for the department to implement change. Now, Louisville Mayor Greg Fisher says the DOJ did not give them a timeline as to how long this investigation may take, but he did say that he was told similar investigations in Chicago and Baltimore have taken about 13 months. Fisher did say though that Louisville's department is smaller compared to those two so that timeline could be a little shorter as well. Live in front of Metro Hall, Dennis Ting, WHAS 11 News.